Hi, I'm Robert Hensley, and this is robertsjembelessons.com. Today I wanted to give you a little bonus, because one of the most common questions that I get is, how do you tell the difference between a 6-8 rhythm and a 4-4 four, four rhythm? How do I know which kinds of parts to play? So, I'll answer that today in this bonus for you as a part of the Easy Beats series of lessons. Basically, it goes like this. You can find out probably in three main ways. Number one, by identifying the break that they use. Number two, looking at the parts and recognizing them. And number three is actually learning how to count it. But I can give you some simple, simple tips for counting. So let's go through those one, two, and three. So the breaks that they use, there's two main breaks to recognize it as a 6-8 rhythm. And that would be like this, all right? So I trained them on the other lessons. But this is the first main break that is used for 6-8 rhythms. You might get that at a number of different speeds. And they might even not play the last couple. And just do that as a signal. But the leader will communicate to these other drummers and to the dancers, like in a dance class or at an experienced African drum circle, um, that that is a 6-8 rhythm and that that's a transition point from something to another thing. Uh, another one goes like this. It's in pairs of threes. That one was in twos. Um, but this one goes da 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 speeds. That is the other most common 6-8 break. So one way is to listen for them to start or stop or make transitions and communicate with each other. Those breaks are used for intros, outros, and transitions from one soloist, say, to another soloist. Um, the 4-4 four, four breaks that are most common, and there's a whole slew of 4-4 four, four and 6-8 breaks, but these are the most common ones to learn and recognize, the ones that I've taught you here on the course and other places, on the, on the site. Um, the two most common ones are... You'll hear that one for a number of the 4-4 four, four rhythms here. It's the most common break, that one, and its variation with the three slaps. That's the one I teach for cuckoo, and the most teachers teach for cuckoo. So if you hear that, that, that break or intro, it's a 4-4 four, four rhythm. And pick one of the most um, common 4-4 four, four parts. four parts that go for almost any four four drum circle rhythm. All right, so that's recognizing breaks. The other is recognizing parts, which I just started introducing. And if you hear those parts like the four four, passport, or the first part of cuckoo, by the most important players, the ones you, you figure out are the most experienced, or they're leading the group, um, and the, uh, a, a common one on lower drums. Um, other common ones might be...
just a variation of the passport. Um, uh, a really a good common one is also. Casa. But I would guess that if you can just remember the passport and the two cuckoo pieces, you're going to be having the best likelihood of identifying things well. So, passport, cuckoo part one, and cuckoo part three. So, for as far as recognizing rhythms between four, four, and six, eight, we have the six, eight ones. They go like this. Here's the break. The most common ones are that is in almost every 6-8 rhythm, so that, that will be the easiest uh, way to identify a 6-8 usually. The other one that matches and goes with that is on the other side of it, so it starts like... So that second part is also taught here on the, on the site, um, but that's a really common combination, is that one, and the other one. You'll almost always see those by the strong players playing it loudly, slap, tone, slap, slap, tone, slap, or slap, tone, tone, slap, slap, tone, tone, slap. So those uh, are two ways of identifying 6-8 rhythms by looking at the parts that the leaders are playing. All right. The last is to learn how to count. So I'm going to demonstrate that with two of the warm-ups I teach on the site. Um, the 4-4 four, four, uh, warm-up number 3 and the 6-8 warm-up number 3 are essentially the same hits, but with different spacing. One identifies it as a 4-4 and the other identifies it as a 6-8. So this is the coolest little way to understand it by example. The 6-8 part, you will find, comes in three groups of three. Everything in 6-8 is counted in threes when you reduce it. So when you get to the 6 when you get to the uh, to counting in threes, here's the three parts to the six eight warm up um, number three, and it goes like this: tone tone tone, slap slap slap, bass bass, tone tone tone, slap slap slap, bass bass. It's counted in threes. There's three clusters. So if you're maintaining a regular kind of pulse with it, it's an obvious three. Watch how it sounds when I play it. Right? Three groups, three clusters of hits. Now you play the same exact thing, and you can count it in four. But I'm spacing the bases way far apart, so that they, if you're keeping a regular um, spacing to your beat, to your pulse, you have to count it. Those two bases is two separate counts. Otherwise, it won't be a regular pulse. So here's this alternate way of playing that warm-up, but playing it in 4-4. Four, four. Same hits. And two bases, but okay, a larger space. The counting is two pulses. So here we go for the 4-4 four, four version of this eight-hit warm-up. Okay.
compared to, that's the 4-4, four, four, as compared to the 6-8 version, which is... has four counts. So if you maintain, it's, it's a matter of maintaining the spacing of your pulse. If you're tapping it on your feet. One will count in three pulses before it repeats and the other counts in four pulses before it repeats. Equal spacing between the pulses. That is how I would teach you as beginners to identify 6-8 as opposed to 4-4 four, four rhythms for now. This is Robert Hensley at robertsjembelessons.com signing out. Have fun!